Hi, I'm Eric Solomon. I'm co-lead and mentor for eCarbridge. Eric, what are the genomics research opportunities that can be found in Canada's Arctic? And how are they important for Indigenous communities who live there? But also, how are they important for Canada's future economy? There are, I think, um, a lot of opportunities for genomics research in the Arctic. Um, the Arctic is changing at twice the rate of the rest of the planet, and the Canadian Arctic at almost three times the rate of the rest of the planet. It's warming three times the rate of the rest of the planet. Um, it is in so many ways really kind of a ground zero in terms of the impacts of climate change. Many of the impacts of climate change in the Arctic are things that we can see like changes in sea ice and so on, but there's a lot that we can't directly see. And that has to do with things like changes in the way different populations, let's say of caribou, are, are migrating. And that means that one population may start to mix with another one. Well, the best way to know that ultimately is by being able to understand the genomics within those populations. Are these two populations actually mixing together or not? We have to know those things so that we can understand impacts, so that we can understand how to manage them as a single population or a different one. Another really important role for genomics that I've seen in the Canadian Arctic has to do with environmental DNA. And that is basically you know, understanding that everything that is swimming or crawling in the ocean is shedding its DNA all the time, little bits. And we can't see it, but when we take samples of seawater and process them properly, we can actually see all of that DNA that's been floating around in the water and identifying that means the ability to identify what's been swimming and what's been crawling in the water. And that's a really important way to understand how things are changing. We understand other parts of the world, other regions of the world so much better than we understand the Arctic Ocean because we've been studying them for so much longer. And in the Arctic, there are still a lot of really basic questions that have to be asked, like, <clears throat> well, what's there? What's living down there on the bottom of the ocean at any particular time? Those kinds of basic questions are really important when we recognize that it's also changing really, really fast. So we're in a bit of a race to understand what's really there and how it's changing. And environmental DNA is one of those tools that can help us understand those things.